Brought to you by wikivd.com Josie Altador Josma Volney Josie Altador is an American professional soccer player who plays as a forward for Toronto FC and the United States national team. Altador made his professional debut in 2006 at the age of 16 with the New York Red Bulls in the middle of his third season with New York. In 2008 he made a transfer to Villarreal for a fee of $10 million. During his time with Villarreal, he left on three loan stints with Spanish Segunda Division club Zires in February May 2009, English Premier League club Hull City for the entire 2009-10 season and Turkish club Bursaspor, where he went on a six-month loan. In the summer of 2011, he made a switch to AZ in the Netherlands. On March 3, 2013, Altidore surpassed Clint Dempsey for most goals by an American in a European club season with his 24th goal of the 2012-13 campaign. During the 2013 summer transfer window, Sunderland signed Altidore. He spent one and a a half seasons there with a poor goal-scoring record then returned to MLS. With Toronto, Altador has represented the United States on various levels of international competition, featuring for the United States U-17 team at the 2005 FIFA U-17 World Championship U-20 team, at the 2007 FIFA U-20 World Cup and the U-23 team at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. He made his debut for the senior national team in 2007 and has earned over 100 caps representing them. At the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup, the 2011, 2015 and 2017 CONCACAF Gold Cups and the 2010 and 2014 FIFA World Cups. Early life and education The youngest of four children to Haitian immigrants, Altador was born in Livingston, New Jersey, and raised in Boca Raton, Florida. He enjoyed playing soccer from the time he was a boy. Altador played for various South Florida youth teams such as Boca Raton Juniors Soccer Club, Schultz Academy and Sunrise SC while also spending time training with the under-17 national team. At the IMG Academy in Bradenton, he was raised a Jehovah's Witness. New York Red Bulls Altador was taken 17th overall in the 2006 MLS Superdraft. With the Metro Stars trading up to receive the selection, Altador spent the majority of the 2006 season away from the team while working towards his high school diploma in Florida. Altador made his professional debut on August 23, 2006 as a substitute in a 3-1 U.S. Open Cup loss to D.C. United. He scored his first professional goal at the age of 16, with an 83rd-minute 28-yard shot to beat the Columbus Crew 1-0 on September 16, 2006. Exactly one week later on September 23, 2006 in a 4-3 loss to D.C., United Altador scored again, scoring three times in seven appearances, including a crucial goal against Chicago Fire on September. September 30, 2006 Altador became a fan favorite. He scored the Red Bulls' only goal of their 2-1 aggregate loss to D.C. United in the Eastern Conference semi-finals series when he headed in a cross in the second leg. With that goal he became the youngest player to score in the Major League Soccer playoffs. At 16 years 337 days. Altador was also youngest to start in a Major League Soccer playoff match on October 21 against D.C. United. He also scored two goals in a 5-4 win over Los Angeles Galaxy on August 18, 2007. Villarreal On June 4, 2008 Villarreal of Lane, Liga agreed in principle with Major League Soccer 
and the New York Red Bulls to sign Altidore for roughly $10 million or 7.4 million euros. This transfer fee surpasses Fulham's fee for Clint Dempsey which was $4 million or roughly £2 million and is now the largest fee paid for any MLS player. Altidore finalized his personal contract and was unveiled by the club on June 11, 2008. On September 14, 2008 Altidore made his La Liga debut, coming on as a second-half substitute against Deportivo La Coruna. On November 1, 2008, he became the first American international to score in La Liga when he came on in the 90th minute and scored against Athletic Bilbao. On November 30, 2008, Altidore started his first game in La Liga against Recreativo Huelva. After spending a year and a half on loan, Altidore returned to Villarreal. He favoured saying, with Villarreal instead of another loan to try to prove to the club he was worth the investment they made two years ago. Zerez On January 30, 2009 Villarreal agreed to loan Altador to Zerez leader of the Segunda Division. At the time of the transfer until the end of the 2008-09 season, it was expected that the move would allow Altador to get more playing time and also allow him to continue the process of assimilating into the Spanish culture. On April 16, 2009, Altador underwent minor surgery on an injured toenail that required more than a month of recovery, resulting in him never making an appearance for Zerez. Hull City on August 5, 2009, Altador announced on his Twitter page that he would be loaned to English Premier League club Hull City. He joined Hull City the next day on a season-long loan, with the option for Hull City to purchase his rights at the end of the 2009-10 season, for a fee believed to be £6.5 million. On August 10, 2009, Hull City announced that they were successful in obtaining a work permit for Altador. Altador made his debut for Hull on August 22, 2009, coming on as a second-half substitute against Bolton. He provided the assist for Kamal Gilas to score the only goal in a 1-0 home victory at the KC Stadium. On August 25, 2009, Altador scored his first goal for Hull in a 3-1 win over Southend United in the second round of the League Cup. Altidore was popular with supporters, but struggled to make a lasting impact with the Tigers as his finishing was often found wanting. However, he did manage to score his first and only Premier League goal in the 2-1 home win over Manchester City on February 6, on April 24 in an important game. For Hull City's Premier League survival he was dismissed for violent conduct after a spat with Sunderland's Alan Hutton who was also sent off. Hull City lost 1-0 and were all but relegated from the top flight. Boussaspor On January 31, 2011 Altidore was loaned out to Turkish champions Boussaspor on a six-month loan. On April 8 he scored his first goal for his new club in a 3-2 home loss to Antalya Spor. AZ on July 15, 2011 Altador agreed to terms with Dutch side AZ. On August 7 Altador made his debut for the club as a second-half substitute against PSV Eindhoven. Altador scored in the 80th minute, helping his new side to a 3-1 opening day win. Altador was again used as a sub in the club's next Eredivisie game as AZ fell 2-0-2 FC Twente. Altidore made his first start in the league for AZ on August 21 when they played host to NEC Nijmegen at the AFAS Stadion. After a goalless first half, Altidore opened the scoring in the 54th minute, pouncing on the rebound after NEC goalkeeper Jasper Silesen saved his header. 
Altidore scored again 19 minutes later after some nice passing with Adam Marr and AZ ran out 4-0 winners. On August 25, Altidore started in the second leg of the UEFA Europa League final qualifying match against Arlesund's FK from Norway, before being substituted in the 63rd minute by Charles Masson Benchop. Altidore scored twice. His first goal in the 23rd minute gave AZ a 2-0 lead and his second goal in the 59th minute brought the score to 4-0 in a game AZ eventually won by 6-0. Altidore added to his Europa League account when he opened the scoring in the 21st minute of his side's first group match against Malmo FF on September 15. After a long wait Altidore returned to the score sheet for AZ, netting in the 83rd minute of a 3-0 victory over a do Den Haag on November 6 that also secured his side's 10th victory of the Eredivisie campaign. On December 4, Altidore scored his side's only goal in a 5-1 loss to Heeren Veen. Altidore had to wait until February 8, 2012 to score his next league goal, grabbing a brace in a 6-0 win over a do Den Haag. The result put AZ level on points with PSV. At the top of the table, Altidore headed in the winning goal against VVV Venlo on Sunday, April 22, to keep AZ second in the table and their title hopes still alive. Altidore led the team in scoring in his first campaign with 22 goals across all competitions. He finished tied for seventh in the Eredivisie in goals scored. Altidore credits his successful campaign to his new coach manager Gert Jan Verbeek. In the opening game of the new Eredivisie campaign, Altidore scored a quick brace as AZ drew 2 2 with reigning champions Ajax on August 12, 2012. Altidore continued his impressive start to the league campaign, netting another brace in the club's 3 1 victory over SC Heracles on the second weekend of the season. Following the international break, Altidore scored the first hat-trick of his club career on September 16, helping EZ to a 4-0 defeat of Roda JC. Altidore powered his team to just their fourth victory in 17 games, and their first since October 28, netting a brace in a 2-1 defeat of Pex Waller on December 15. In the first game of 2013 Altidore hammered home three for the hat-trick against Vitesse Arnhem. On April 14 Altidore netted his third hat-trick of the season in a 6-0 victory over FC Utrecht. On 9 May he scored the winning goal against PSV in the KNVB Cup final helping AZ to lift the Dutch Cup for the first time in 31 years. Subsequently, Altidore became the first ever American to be named into Telegraph's team of the season. After finishing with 23 goals in the Eredivisie and 8 in the KNVB Cup, Sunderland. On July 5, 2013 AZ agreed to sell Altidore's contract to English Premier League club Sunderland, with whom he signed a four-year contract. It was eventually reported that Sunderland paid AZ a $13 million transfer fee. Altidore's first goal for Sunderland came on August 27, 2013, spurring a dramatic late comeback in the League Cup defeating MK Dons 4-2. In Altidore's first time with Derby, he put in a man-of-the-match performance in a 2-1 win. On December 4, 2013 Altidore scored his first league goal for Sunderland to give them a 1-0 lead against Chelsea a game which eventually finished 3-4. After failing to find the net again for Sunderland Altidore was dropped to the Sunderland under-21s instead of playing against Tottenham Hotspur on April 7, 2014. Altidore ended the 2013-14 season with two goals in 37 appearances and by October 2014, he had made just six appearances and scored one goal. Altidore told reporters, if it doesn't turn around then in January, we'll be looking to start elsewhere. 
to stay in the United States national team picture. Altador left Sunderland in January the 2015 for Toronto FC of Major League Soccer. He finished his stay with three goals in 52 appearances in all competitions and one goal in 42 league games. Having only scored two goals in a total of 70 Premier League games for both Sunderland and Hull, he was later given the number one position in the 100 worst strikers in Premier League history by the Daily Mail. Toronto FC In January 2015 Sunderland agreed to send Altidore and an undisclosed fee to Toronto FC of Major League Soccer in exchange for Jermaine Defoe. Toronto used its allocation spot and signed Altidore to a designated player contract. The New York Red Bulls, his former MLS team, were the league's preferred destination for Altador and tried to move up the allocation order through a trade with the Montreal Impact, who held the first allocation spot. However, Toronto was unwilling to accept the cash settlement from New York that was also required for the move. Altador said his United States teammate Michael Bradley who himself joined Toronto the previous season after playing in Europe recruited him. And Bradley was seen on camera talking to Altador about the club in July 2014. During the 2014 FIFA World Cup, on his return to MLS Altador scored twice in his first game. For Toronto a 3-1 victory away to the Vancouver Whitecaps to start the 2015 season. On a return to BMO Field for the 2015 season, Altador scored the only goal off a header in a 2-1 defeat to the Houston Dynamo. Altador helped Toronto FC to the 2016 Eastern Conference Finals in a derby against Montreal Impact in which Toronto won one on an aggregated score of 7-5 to take Toronto FC to the MLS Cup Final for the first time in their history. On December 10, Toronto lost the final at home to the Seattle Sounders 5-4 in penalty shootout following a goalless draw after extra time. On September 30, 2017, Altidore won his first Supporters' Shield with a 4-2 home win over New York Red Bulls to clinch top of the league with the most points that season. International career In the 2007 FIFA U-20 World Cup held in Canada Altidore finished tied third in overall scoring. With four goals, he scored three in the first round one versus Poland in Montreal and two versus Brazil in Ottawa and added a fourth goal versus Austria in the quarterfinals in Toronto, Altidore made his full international debut on November 17, 2007 in a friendly game away to South Africa. On February 7, 2008 he scored his first international goal by heading home across from Drew Moore in a friendly match against Mexico in Houston, Texas. On March 28, 2009, Altador scored his first away goal in World Cup qualifying in the 2-2 draw with El Salvador. On April 1, 2009 Altador scored three goals in a 3-0 victory over Trinidad and Tobago, making Altador the youngest American to score a hat-trick in an international game. On June 24, 2009 Altidore scored in the semi-final of the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup against Spain, turning club teammate Joan Cap de Villa to get a clear shot on Ica Cassia's goal. The U.S. went on to defeat the Spanish team 2-0. Altidore started at striker in all four of the United States games in the 2010 FIFA World Cup garnering only one assist with no goals scored. Altidore suffered a hamstring injury at the 2011 CONCACAF Gold Cup. On June 2, 2013 Altidore ended an almost two-year scoring drought by sinking the first goal in an international friendly against Germany. He subsequently scored in his next two international games against Jamaica and Panama.
marking the first time that he has scored in three consecutive international games. Altidore then went on to score in a fourth consecutive game against Honduras in a World Cup qualification match on June 18. Scoring in four consecutive matches tied Altidore all-time for most consecutive games, with a goal by any USMNT player joining a select group of players that includes Landon Donovan, Eddie Johnson, Eric Ronaldo and William Lubber. On August 14, 2013, Altidore scored a hat-trick in the United States 4-3 comeback win over Bosnia and Herzegovina, notably scoring from a free kick just outside the box with a curling effort. Altidore's three goals and an assist stretched his consecutive game scoring streak to five games the most in U.S national team history. On June 7, 2014 Altidore broke his goal-scoring drought, with two goals against Nigeria the defending Africa Cup of Nations champions. On June 16, 2014, in the United States opening 2014 FIFA World Cup match against Ghana Altidore injured a hamstring and had to be carried from the field. On March 31, 2015, Altidore received his first international red card for verbally abusing referee Luca Banti in an eventual 1-1 friendly draw against Switzerland in Zurich. Altidore became the 17th American to reach 100 international caps on January 29, 2017, when he started in a goalless draw against Serbia. Only Landon Donovan had reached the milestone at a younger age than his 27 years. Personal life In 2007 Altador was a candidate for ESPN's Next Award and is one of the stars featured in Adidas. Impossible is nothing advertisements. Altador is featured on the cover of the North American version of FIFA 08 by Air Sports alongside Ronaldinho and Guillermo Ochoa. Following the 2010 Haiti earthquake, Altador joined the relief effort by asking people to donate to Y.E. Acuteli Haiti. He appeared on CNN to discuss his family members still living in Haiti and to encourage people to give money. In honor of the 26 victims of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting a week earlier, Altidore wrote their names on the boots he wore in the game against FC Twente on December 21, 2012. He is in a relationship with tennis player and 2017 U.S. Open champion Sloane Stevens. International goals Score represents the score in the match after Altidore's goal. Score and result List the United States goal tally first. Last updated October 6, 2017. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?